Please all stand for the opening hymn, Immaculate Mother. sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity we have seen against our brothers and sisters, we have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please all be seated. Last week, our mother, Perpetual Help, received online letters of petition and thanksgiving. For the letters of petitions, 1,638. For the letters of thanksgiving, 1,810. Of these, nine for spiritual favors, one for peace in the home, two for reconciliation, 37 for health and recovery from sickness, 24 for delivered from all dangers, Four for gift of a child and safe delivery. Two for financial needs. Six for education and success in studies. Fourteen for passing the board exam. Four for travel abroad. Two for local employment. Two for overseas employment. Twenty-three for temporal favors. And 1,680 unspecified for all the blessings. And here is a thanksgiving letter from a devotee. Dear Mama Mary, Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga biyayang natanggap namin. Lagi po ninyong ipinagkakaloob lahat ng hilingin naming mag at pamilya. Last week po ay galing kaming Australia. Two months po kaming nagtry magka-baby. At nitong Wednesday, nagnobena po kaming dalawa ng asawa ko ay ipinagdasal po namin na ready na po kami magkapamilya after two years na magkasama. At hindi nyo po pinatagal ang paghihintay namin na magtest po ako ay positive na po. Thank you so much Mama Mary sa palaging pagbigay sa amin ng mga kahiligan namin at sa sunod-sunod na blessings lalo na sa pagpasa ng bunso kong kapatid sa pagiging engineer. Salamat sa chance na makabisita sa inyong dambana, mahal na ina. Nagmamahal at sumasamba, ang liham po ay nilagdaan. Please all stand for the next day, Mary Immaculate Star of the Morning.
Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your Divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. 
Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home on Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please all stand, Mother of Christ.
the name of the Father and on the Son and on the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sins before the celebration of this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have I do, done and in what, what I, I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. ever-living God, you brought salvation to humanity through the cross of Christ. By the merits and intercession of the blessed Bishop Nicholas and his company martyrs, Vasil, Zenon, and Evan, grant that in difficult time we may be steadfast in the faith and enjoy eternal happiness in their company. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David, that is my gospel for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Now you have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, and my suffering the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To 
had not been on our side. This is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a spray to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We praise you, O Lord, and we bless your name. The mighty army of martyrs praises you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flock you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand over you, when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. 
and children will rise against parents and have them put to death and you will be hated by all because of my name but the one who endures to the end will be safe the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters in Christ and humanity, after the feast of our mother of perpetual help, yesterday, today, the rhythm tourists through the world celebrate the memorial martyrs of four conferences, Nicholas, Vasil, Zenon, and Ivan, who faced persecution and gave their life for their religious beliefs. Today's gospel is in connection with uh, this celebration, who, after hearing this word of Jesus Christ in the gospel, still wants to become Christian or devil missionary, to be hated, to be handed over to death by those closest for you, to have to flee. Is it the joy of the kingdom promised to the disciples? We must understand very well the meaning of this word. Jesus is not giving a list of all the things to do, including the obligation to be persecuted or even to be killed. What is being affirmed here? is that a Christian witness rests above all on his resemblance to the one he is proclaiming. In this case, he is Jesus Christ himself. Jesus does not uh, seek to frighten us by listening all the unpleasant thrill we have to endure. On the contrary, Jesus want to seek to reassure us by saying, I have been through it all myself. I suffer from all myself. Discipleship, including its missionary witness, dimension, is based in the image of Christ that shines through us. It is line that we must understand. What you have to say will be given to you at that time. It is the spirit of the Father who will speak in you. Don't be, don't, don't be afraid. This does not mean that mysterious words will miraculously fall on our lips. It simply means that it is through us, through our witness, through our life, our daily lives, that the word of God is proclaimed. Brothers and sisters, let us ask the grace to be a good witness in our daily life. Let us ask this grace through our beloved mother, our mother of perpetual help. She is the first missionary of Christ, his son. She is the first missionary on our road, on our life. Amen. Sweet, stubborn, and sore. 
Brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive the gift of your people, Lord, in memory of Blessed Nicholas and his companions. May the Eucharistic which sustained them in their martyrdom obtain for us dignity and patience when our faith is tested through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, power out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of This You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holy holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesus, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper and the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Shabbat 
Please all kneel for the prayer for the sick. Let us silently pray for our sick brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick. Grant that they are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness, may experience God's healing, power, and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul, so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you have welcomed us at your table on this memorial day of your martyrs Nicholas, Vasil, Zenon, and Ivan. Grant us the manifold riches of your grace 
so that from their glorious witness we may learn to be strong in the hour of testing and to rejoice in the hope of victory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>